Well guys, I've just finished um, chopping out the ground where I'm going to be digging the foundations. You'll just see it, not straightest uh, the marks where I've marked ground. I've just done it with an edging tool. So all these, all this is where I'm going to be digging for foundations. They're not going to be massively deep. Probably, I don't know, probably about six inches or so, something like that. Just to get a bit of um, solidity um, on for brickwork. And like I said before, this is all all clay ground, so don't need to be up particularly substantial. I mean, there's not a great deal of topsoil on here, so you know, clay's sat under there pretty much anyway, down about that depth. It's just starting to rain now. Um, we we'll see if it see if it passes over. If it does, then I'll probably start start digging them out today, uh, Saturday today. Um, if not, then I look like doing it tomorrow. Cause, uh, I'm not getting piss wet through, and I think it's get it a pretty dry day for tomorrow. So hopefully, well, he'll either pass over and I'll get it done today, or I'll wait till tomorrow um, and start digging them then. I've got a bit of sheeting to put down about my garden just to put um, soil onto. I made that mistake last time when I dug this pond out. I just dumped soil onto it, onto the ground, and it was an absolute nightmare getting it up. So it all just you know just sticking together and then sticking to the ground underneath it, and it was just an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna put a sheet down about my garden, and then when as I dig it out, I'll just dump it onto the sheet, and then it'll make it a lot easier. Um, to get rid of right well it looks as though this um, this rains old enough anyway guys so I think I'm gonna get a dig in take this um, take this layer of grass up where I've chopped round for foundations um, get a sheet down down there yeah. and get these started I reckon right just finished a bit guys it has been raining but well, ploughed on through it just to get it done out of the way. So I shall spin you around. So, all right, it's not quite straight, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be dug down and straightened up. Um, but yeah, um, that's where his foundation's going to lay. Once it's all dug out, you can see where walls are going to go straight down this bit here where the wall's going to be here that's going to be the dividing wall what's going to separate my side between my son's side um, and we've got this bit here where my pond's going to be so that's that's going to be a three metre pond and like I said before it's about 1.5 wide but yeah that's um, one Big job done out at way, getting that grass up um, and getting it ready for digging. Like I said, I'm not going to be going mad with foundations because this topsoil, it's not, it's not that deep before you hit clay. For example, if you look here, I've only scraped top bit of um, soil off and grass, and already you can see just here, this is blue clay. That's blue clay that, so that's what I mean by, you know, I don't need a mega foundation for this because the clay underneath here, it's not that far down. And once it hit that blue clay, that'll do me, I ain't going any further. And um, one, it's a bugger to dig. Um, and like I've said before, these have been, these have been studied here ages. Um, old, old mining fields these houses are built on. Um, yeah, and the compactors you like, so they're not moving anywhere. So once, once that's that, once that's dug down and I've hit clay, it's getting filled with concrete, obviously levelled. Um, that's going to be another job in itself because the garden's terrible. Um, the way out of level um, because we're on a hill, it just just all slopes down. So yeah, that's going to be a job in its a job in itself, um, levelling it all out. But when it's done, it'll be. 
it'll be worth it once I can start blocking, which I'm looking forward to. I'm just gonna give these guys a bit of a munch, some food. Right, I'll leave them to munch guys, and I'll catch back with you in a bit. Right, that's it guys. All dug out. Only took me off an hour. There we go. Footings all complete. Ready for concrete. So this is at a depth of between 8 and 9 inches all the way around. And as you'll see, this all down here, this is all blue clay. So at a depth of eight or nine inches, it's just blue clay. As you can see, all blue clay. So that's what that's what I was saying before about I weren't going to go mega deep for footings because I didn't need to because blue clay is just not that far down. So that'll do perfect, but for half an hour's work, not bad. <laughs> I'm joking, not half an hour. <laughs> it's actually been a week. So yeah, it's been a week since um, last bit of footage. Um, the bit what I started, yeah, I did all down there. So I did, I did all down this bit here. And then rest on it. My missus has dug out. <laughs> bless her yeah um, well I've been at work she's been getting spayed out um, and she's been digging footings so can't fault it can you fair play to the lass um, just help me along a little bit help move things forward um, as you know when you when you're working all the time you don't really get time to to do much uh, when you get home from work especially you know this time of year when um, you know when it's still just like going dark when you're getting home um, you know it's still still on that borderline where you know you get home from work and it's not quite dark yet but it's borderline so you you don't really have time to do much um, before it goes dark so my missus doing this um, while I've been at work it's been been a massive help because you know it's really it's really um, moved things along a bit so it just gives me more time now to be able to to um, arrange for for concrete um, I'm not I'm not having it tipped up like that I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up myself and um, yeah and fill it in myself get some some bags of ballast, um, some bags of cement, yeah, and I'll get some concrete mixed up myself and get it all filled in, and then it'll be time to, to get some blocks on go. So, yeah, it's um, really coming handy that, uh, getting that done for me. Um, yeah, she's quite a trooper, really. I mean, when Pond were built, she <laughs> just about all of them blocks when Pond were built. Um, I mean, if you go back in my videos to so when it was first built, she she shifted all them blocks from, from front of garden when they were dropped. Because again, I was just at work when they were dropped, so she offloaded them <laughs> back garden. Bless her. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. So, already. And one big pile of mud to shift. What else? You can see all in this lot, all blue clay, what's come out. So yeah, that's another pile of soil for me to get rid of. Now, 
I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know whether to to get a grabber, you know, cart it all round front of the house and get a grabber to take it, or whether to just have a skip dumped on front. I don't know yet. Um, probably be cheaper with a grabber, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure yet. There's going to be some more to take because I've still got to obviously once all the concrete's in here um I'm gonna have to take a bit more take a bit more up round here and round round these bits here obviously just to level ground up and that um ready for me base going in so yeah I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that yet whether to have a grabber or whether to just skip it I, I think I'm gonna get rid of some soil down side at shed as well because at some point shed will be extended so yeah all's good these won't feed in now that I'm back from work he's waiting for me welcome back guys uh, Saturday today I'm just outside doing a bit of bit of work I've just been digging out ready f um, a trench for where bottom drain is going to be going so I'm just digging that out there um, and I'm also just gluing up my bottom drain with 3 inch reducer in it so just gluing that up ready um, now what I'm going to do with this if you look on inside now that reducer has gone in you'll see that there's gaps around there on inside inside the fitting so what I'm actually going to do those gaps um, these gaps in here just to just to make sure that nothing gets trapped in there you know dirt debris what could build up <coughs> and um, potentially cause any problems I've got some tubes of OB1 here so all them gaps inside at bottom drain of the fitting I'm going to fill up and then it'll stop any problems with um, debris settling in there you know stuff like that so bottom drain is going to sit in here pass all the way through foundation so it's going to be embedded in foundation run along here and then come up around there somewhere just in front of where this dividing wall is going to be so wall's looking good there um i've dropped the temperature of the pond down by one degree um so before these were sat at well from beginning of january from beginning of january up until now they've been sat at 21 degrees and as you know the reason why I did that was because me my Chagoy um, it had a bit of a knock or well at the time I wasn't quite sure whether it was a knock or or something more sinister but I raised the temperature up anyway and um, just to help the immune system of the fish kick in to help heal that faster which it has now done it's totally healed now it's gone back down so there's no reason why I need to keep the water temperature up at 21 degrees and um, so I can slowly start letting it come back down a bit but because we're in like mid February now <clears throat> there's not really any point me letting it drop back down fully because come come April time I'm gonna be whacking it back up anyway to get to get feeding them so I think what I'll probably do is drop it down to maybe I don't know 17 or 18 degrees oh dirty trump <laughs> um, yeah drop it back down to 17 18 degrees and then they can sit at that until April where they'll um, and then they'll be back up to 24 degrees and get some food down them so anyway I'm gonna get on with this now get all this sealed up got some OB1 up there got some more there plenty more knocking about in shed so I'm gonna get that filled up um, and then it can set um, yeah so. right so you'll see now guys what I've done what's on here I've just filled all that gap in 
around here just to make sure no crap can work its way and settle inside of that so that's all good to go now it just needs to set and then it's setting on the other side so I just need to now just put me pipe in here and just make sure it's going to sit in there okay um, and make sure it's all going to be level so as you can see that's going to sit in there like that and it'll come all the way to end here and it'll have an elbow on it um, if we look just grab my elbow so that's gonna go on there like so just a little push on a bit more once once I glue it properly so it'll, it'll come a bit further back probably to about here so that'll come up <coughs> excuse me so that's gonna come up there and then the pipe <sighs> not bad it's not bad at that at all it's not bad at that she probably wants to come down a, a little bit at that end but other than that it's not too bad this here this is just a piece of two inch waste pipe just bridging um, that foundation there and all that's going to act as is a sleeve so I can thread through um, water and electricity so everything's ready guys all ready for concrete like I say I've just got to put my elbow on end of there um, I'll put some concrete in between here just to hold the pipe down same here um, I've got to glue that into end up drain and then I'll put some concrete around drain just to hold it in place but yeah other than that guys everything is ready So there we have it. So that's going to be that, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Got, um, I'm going to get fish a bit of a water change, although I might do that tomorrow now. Um, I want to go and get cleaned up because I'm filthy. Have a bath and have something to eat. Um, watch a bit of footy, I reckon. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it, guys. Next time you see me, we'll probably be um, getting some foundations in and getting some blocks, I reckon. So, unless anything else crops up in the meantime, guys, I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.